Yo, check it. What's up? What's, What's up? happening? That's... We back at it again with another episode, but just me and Jarek. Y'all know, uh, do you guys see the difference? Well, I mean, if you're if you're listening, you won't hear a difference. But if you're looking and you're watching on YouTube, y'all might re- uh, recognize that we stepped up our game and got headphones. Yeah. Now we can hear ourselves talking. And we can monitor if we're too loud or not loud enough. Yeah. Um, you know, sometimes I listen to my own, the own podcast. Not that, you know, because, like, I like hearing myself. I don't. But um, because I want to know if I'm giving you quality, you know, uh, quality voice. And from my previous experiences, I have not been doing that. But now what, that I have what headphones. You, what have you noticed? Dude, I come, I come in and out. And, you know, sometimes I'll go, like, I'll slip side, on the side. side. Yeah, side to side. And. I like I get super excited and I back up. So can you hear me now? See, I know, I know now. Yeah. Can you hear me here? You can hear me here. I feel like it would, it would be perfect for like our guests too, because yeah. sometimes the guests like are like for some reason they're really scared of the microphone. Yeah, don't be afraid. We can't be afraid now. We yeah. we know we 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 listen to ourselves. That's why we have these fuzzies in here. You gotta feel it. Yeah, I like the fuzzies. They kind of smell good. Yeah. But uh, yeah. Anyways, man, how how was your week? Uh, how's how's life? Um, life's been good. Um, been kind of busy, just, yeah. um, editing photos, um, actually planning, I'm actually helping somebody shoot a wedding this weekend. Ooh. So that should be fun. That'd be hella sick. But Always a good time. Weddings are so stressful. Yeah, but you get, do you get free cake? At least gotta get free cake. Um, sometimes. Yeah. Oh, man. I do sometimes, cake cause like sure. the thing is with wedding is like there's no time to eat usually. You just oh yeah yeah you gotta go like, you gotta go. Got sometimes it. like you can eat a little bit, but there's no time to enjoy your food. You just gotta eat fast and start shooting again. Yeah, I mean they paying you, so I guess I guess you gotta do that. Yeah, and ain't, ain't nothing wrong with that. Should be fun. How about you, man? What's your plan this weekend? Uh, well birthdays are coming up this weekend, so I guess I gotta go do that. Um, but yeah, my weekend's kind of been kind of chill. Just been, uh, you know, cruising at this point. I've been, oh no, actually what I've been doing is I started a new workout program and dude, the gym has been kicking my butt. Like, oh, yeah? yeah, since I started, I, 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 um, I went and saw a nutritionist and, uh, they did this body fat percentage thing on me. Dude, I'm, I'm not that fat. Apparently uh, I'm athletic. Did you, did you go to one of those, um, did they do it in, like in the back of a... Like a big van or something. Like you have to go inside. And... Oh no 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 no. Oh. They they have that at my gym, but I I, oh, okay. I never see. I should I should take advantage of those things, but I don't. Yeah, because I think they like scan your whole body or something like yeah, that. Yeah. I don't know. That's what I heard. But it's it's cool. Like, um, the one I did was like electrodes, and it it kind of was like went through my body or whatever, and it told me like my body fat percentage. It told me my BMI. It told me like my muscle tones and stuff, and I was like, whoa, that's uh, cool. What's your um, what's your body fat percentage, dude? I'm at twenty point four. Is That's, that good? What's the average? Uh, the average is between for for uh, you know, our age is between ten and twenty, and I'm point four away from twenty. Like that's crazy. Oh, uh, that's cool. The the um nutritionist said that I was athletic, and I was like, what? I should uh, that might be interesting. Dude, just do I'm it. At. Like I haven't been actually I haven't been going to the gym for the past, bro. Three, three weeks. Damn. You gotta go. Yeah, I gotta go back for sure. But I've actually been eating healthy. I've been eating um, chicken and rice, and also I've been making um, spring rolls. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Veggies yeah. and yeah, it's it's good. Dude. That's super healthy, dude. Yeah, that's actually really healthy. And you save money rather than going out and. Yeah, I, I mean, I ate out today. I yeah. mean, I bought food outside, but um, for the past maybe five days. Yeah. Because normally I would eat out like every other day or every yeah. day. But now I'm um, trying to be more responsible with uh, not eating out so much, you know. I do a little bit of meal prepping, you know, um, throughout the week. And now that I've saw a nutritionist and she taught me my ways, uh, I think I want to be a little bit more proactive. So that way, I was uh, I looked it up. Apparently, um, if you're at a twenty point or if you're at a twenty percent body fat, technically you only have sixteen weeks to get abs. And I'm like, sixteen weeks? That's achievable. I'm excited. Well, I, obviously, that sixteen weeks have to be like very, uh, very well, not too strict, but also strict. you got to be like, you got to be on top of your protein game Basically and be on point. Yeah, on you got to be on point. Whatever you're doing, yo. If when I get abs, I'll show you guys. 
Just kidding. I won't show you guys that. That'd be weird. But anyways, <laughs> you're gonna come into the podcast shirtless, man. I know, right? Maybe we'll get more viewers. <laughs> I don't know. Probably not. Probably less viewers. Yeah. <laughs> oh People man, why is that like, naked? We're gonna get demonetized. <laughs> <laughs> Showing, or showing too much skin. Uh, well, well, on a uh, Patreon, it'll be if you got, if you uh, if you, if you pay this much, you can what you can have a, an episode with Christian without a shirt. <laughs> it, we'll just like do a Photoshop of just like this above, just like <laughs> fake abs and <laughs> that'd be funny. Green screen, the um, you know, oh, yeah. just wear green shirts. That's true. That's that'd true. be funny as hell. But uh, yeah. Anyways, what are we? Are you down to? Talk about that thing I was talking about earlier. Yeah, that's fine. All right. So we normally talk about love, but today let's talk about the pursuit of happiness. So I was discussing this with Jarek earlier and I was like, look, you know, when are you ever ready to be or, or do you wait for the perfect moment or do you wait until you're ready? Like, when do you know if you're ever ready? You know what I'm saying? H- how do you feel about that, Jay? For me, I feel like you're never really 100% ready for anything. Yeah. And I feel like that's okay, cause mm-hmm. um, like I, f- cause that thing is people too much put, people put too much pressure on themselves. Yeah, yeah, they do. Because I feel like they, they want to be like a hundred percent, like ready. But with that, anything you do, like I don't think you can ever achieve that hundred percent. Yeah, you just gotta, you just gotta jump. Yeah, and go. I think. A lot of it is also like based on fear, and I've always been telling myself, or at least for like the past, the past like year or whatever, I I've been telling myself I gotta walk, um, walk with love and face my fears, cause like you can't just, uh, I mean you only get one life to live, you know what I'm saying? And 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 if you're gonna like, like face every day like thinking, oh, like this is, this is too scary. Uh, I'm I'm not ready for this. No, you gotta, you just gotta jump into it, like, embrace it, like find yourself, because you know what. When you face fear straight in the eyes, that's when you know, like, oh, snap, I'm, I'm actually able to do this. Yeah, because I think, but there is something you can do, though, that, like, you're a little bit more prepared than, yeah. you know, like, obviously, you don't have to be 100%, but, like, have enough experience so that you can just jump in there and, like, okay, I think I'll be okay. Yeah, yeah. Because, like, I think I've ex- experienced that in the past where somebody's asked me to, like, do this shoot for them, like, do this video. Yeah, yeah. And, like, I've never done it before, but I think I've done enough practice to actually, like, be somewhat confident that I could, like, do the job. Because, like, somebody asked me, like, oh, like, I need you to shoot this wedding for me. Yeah. And that was, like, my first time, like, shooting, like, you know, wedding, like, for real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I was, like, um, I've never really done, I mean, I've done weddings in the past, but, like, I'm like I wasn't a hundred percent sure. Yeah, but then at the same time, like I've been practicing, I've been shooting. Like even though it's not wedding, like I've been do- doing portraits, I've been doing like landscapes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Other other photography styles. So I feel like I was ready enough. Mm-hmm. So I took I took the job and I feel like I did okay. You know. Yeah, you because you'll never know. You'll never know. First and foremost, like if you really think about think about it, like if you had not taken that first step, right? You wouldn't be good at the craft that you've, you know, mastered. Like, you wouldn't be taking all these crazy-ass pictures, you know? Yeah, like, you yeah. wouldn't be meeting up with all these models and talking with them in confidence. Like, if you had not taken that first step to just be like, this is what I want to do. This is, this is what I think I want to do. I'm going to face it, you know? Yeah, because I think, um, for me, like, I don't think opportunities is just, like, given out there, you know? Yeah, I mean, yeah, like, I feel you gotta like make you, them. Yeah, you got to create that opportunity. So, like... If you have any like craft or like any any skill set, I guess um, you just gotta be ready for the opportunity to come because you'll never know when it's gonna come. Not even like wait for the opportunity, make the opportunity because you know what? Like, if you always sit there and you wait, like, oh, okay, like, all right, I'm gonna start a business, but I'm gonna start it in like three years because I I'm not ready right now. Yeah. Okay, you don't you you're not ready right now, but you know what? Like, people who had created a business. They kind of just jumped into it. Like, okay, maybe there is some planning prior to that. Yeah, there's, but like, obviously there's planning yeah. and that's part of it. But like if you yeah. wait too long, if you give yourself like, too long of a, of a, a jumping like, uh, like starting point or whatever, like you're not going to make it. You're not. Because there's a, it, you, you waited so long. There's too much of a long of a, of a waiting period. There is, 
so much more like I think the best way if if you had just started okay say you said oh okay I'm gonna start this business tomorrow you started it tomorrow you failed you crashed you burned that sucks but but let me t- let me ask you this did you not learn anything you started a business you started it right away what did you learn you learned that you started it way too early like or like you didn't plan enough or you like didn't plan you didn't enough have enough money or yeah. like little things like that little things like that and then if you give it a good you know if you planned it out you and you you didn't there's a, I mean, I'm not going to say there's a sweet spot because obviously, like, you know, that's waiting for the perfect moment. But you, you, you planned it and you felt somewhat ready. Like, even if you're just feeling semi-ready, like, screw it. Just jump into it because you know what? Like, that's when you're going to learn. You're going to learn like, oh, okay, maybe I wanted to start a, a food place, a boba shop. I don't know. And you, you started cooking boba and that boba was too hard. And then you learned that the boba is too hard. So you, you crafted that and you made it some nice, gushy, sweet boba. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Actually, I was watching this. Um, I mean, we're going on a tangent right now, but I was, me and Albert were watching uh, a food YouTube channel yesterday. Oh, dude, I those really want to do that. And I feel like we can do it in this place. And yeah. I have a plan. I'll show you the video later. But... Oh, dude, I want to make a sick video. If you guys, yeah. if you're planning on doing that, yeah. Let me let me take a sick, sick I video. I, I have a cool plan that I want to do, but yeah. I mean, go on. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, like, uh, besides that tangent, you know, like, you're never going to know. And it, it's, it, it doesn't matter what you're up to, what you're planning on doing. Say college. You, you, you wanted to go to college. You waited off. You, you know, you took a while. You waited. There are people out there who are like 60, 70, 80, and they're, they're like achieving the goals that they set out to do. When I graduated, there was this elderly woman who also walked with me, and I was like, dang, I'm so proud of you. Because you know what? You, you achieved something that a lot of people, you know, didn't even bother to, to like, try to strive for. Or, like, you know, you, you weren't afraid. Like, age didn't matter to you. Like, you're, you're, uh, nothing mattered to you. All those, like, tiny, like, little variables, like, none of it mattered. Because you decided to put that, take that step forward to achieve something, some greatness. And you didn't wait to be ready. because no one's ever ready. I'm going to promise you that. Right now, no one's ever ready. Like, just go. Just do. Yeah, I feel like that's the most important part. You just got to do sometimes, you know? Like, for me, like, when I quit my job, like, I don't think yeah, I was, like... Yeah, that's scary, right? I, it was, like, the scariest thing, like, you know, I've Did you ever think done. you were ready? No, of course not, dude. Like, Shoot. I mean, I, I planned a little bit, you know, like... I made sure that I have enough money for like a few months. If you know yeah, nothing yeah. works out, like I'll be okay. Like not, you know. Well, I mean, those are those are like healthy plans. Like yeah. you gotta you gotta make sure that you have a plan. You have, first, a you have a little bit of a plan. Yeah. You know? plan, plan B. You know. Yeah. And then a plan C, just in case plan A and B don't work out. Just always know that you know you gotta roll with the punches and make sure that you know whatever happens will happen. But you're ready, or not even ready, but you're. You're willing to face it all. Because you know what? Like, you know, a lot of people, they, they get scared. What do you think people are um, scared of when it comes to, like, I guess, like, being ready to... I think the biggest fear, to be honest, would be failure. Because you know what? I think about that. And I'm like, what if, I, what if I do this and it's not good enough? Or, like, it's 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 always it always comes down to that. It's like, oh, I'm going to fail. And that's gonna be your first initial thought. You're like, oh, I don't know how to do this. I'm just it's gonna suck. I'm gonna fail at this. And it it's not even like the big things, like even the small things. Like even if you wanted to play basketball, like or even if you wanted to ride a bike, a bike. Let's yeah. let's let's take it to the, the most simplest like subject. Riding a bike. Like you people get scared the first time. And when I first started riding a bike, I was like, is this how you ride this bike? I don't know. I don't know. But yeah. now, now that I've been riding it for the longest time, it's super easy. But you don't think about it because, you know, you're, 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 sitting, you're sitting there and you're thinking, oh, I don't, I think it's I don't just know the like mechanics. the I, first time of doing anything. anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like don't you're be always like nervous. Like you go to your, your job for, on your first day. Yeah, it's yeah. like always nerve wracking, you know, because you don't know what's going on. Yeah. Or, I don't know, just like first time to anything. That's like, you gotta face oh, your fears, you know. Yeah. I actually, um, I've always that that's one of the biggest things that I've learned at least in the past year and a half. Like, I've always I've always sh- um shunned myself from doing the things that I've wanted to do because I was always afraid. But I read this one quote. Um, you can see fear, uh, two ways. You know. Oh, I think. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, 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 yeah. 
You like, can either like face it or run away. Or yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I don't know the exact but, quote, but something like that. Fear, fear. The the one that like like stood out to me the most is that fear is um, and it's an acronym. Fear is uh, face everything and rise. You have to because you can't be afraid to do anything because you never know. We were, shoot when we did this podcast. I, I didn't oh, yeah. know where I was going, but I mean, I was down either way. I, I I didn't really have fear in this, but to think that we're what like sixteen episodes deep and yeah, this is sixteen episode and we've been doing it every week for the yeah. past whatever how long that is four months yeah. yeah four months oh shoot so if this podcast does not like shout out hey you know I shouldn't be afraid to do to 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 go for my goals and my dreams like I don't know what will dude. In yeah, honesty. it's like I mean, originally, like I just wanted to do it because I think it would challenge me, and it still, you know, it still kind of does. Yeah, but I think like now it's a different challenge. Like yeah. I'm feeling a little bit more comfortable in camera and talking, but now it's like, how do we grow this podcast to the next level? You know, I feel like that's the that's the next step. The next step that we gotta take. And. And I don't think we'll ever be ready for that. Nobody will ever be ready for that. You know, and honestly, like, that's what you do. You just face it. And I just read something that's super, like, mind blow. And I'm sorry, I'm looking to the side here. But uh, I, I, this, this, this person just posted, find the one reason why it will work. Fight for that. Like, nobody, I never even, I mean, like, I, I, do, I do it just because I, I know. I, not that I know, but, like, I have a feeling that, even if I fail, I'll succeed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But that quote in itself is like, you know, final one reason that it will work and fight for that. That's crazy. Think about it. Like, you know, anything. Jim, you know, if you, if you fight to just be consistent, it's going to work out. I think you just got to focus on the, the upside of things instead yeah. of like Positivity. always thinking about, the, oh, what's the worst thing that could happen? Or like you, you know what's crazy? Just think about just reverse it. What's the best thing that could happen? Yeah, you, know? you gotta change like the mindset. Anything that you do, it's like you quit your job. Like what's the you know instead of thinking oh oh man I'm gonna like, I'm gonna be poor no yeah you, I'm gonna be poor or you can be like oh I could build I could be, something yeah you know? the yeah. that the problem with like um psych the you know people's psychology when they first try to do something is that they think about the negative things first and you know. I'm not a scientist or I'm not like a psychologist or whatever, a behavior analyst, whatever, whatever. But I can tell you that's the first thing I think about when I try something new is like, what if it's not, what if it doesn't work? You got to change your mindset and be like, what if it does work? Yeah, exactly. Because, oh man, if it works, let me tell you, there's so many times that it did work and it blew my mind. I was like, wow. So if you think about it, if it doesn't work out, you're still going to be at the same place where you were at before you even started. Oh, maybe even a little like a bit ahead of what you where you just start, you know. Yeah. Just you maybe know. a little bit one step forward, you know. Yeah. But if it could work, maybe you could be 10 steps ahead, you know. Oh. And I'm going to tell you, uh I've looked back and I've all, I sometimes I'll sit there and I'll look back and I'll, you know, count the blessings that I've had and when I do, I am shook. Like, straight up shook. I'm just like, whoa, am I the same person that I was, like, a few years ago? No. And sometimes Facebook will post those, um, this is what you posted four years ago, five <laughs> years ago, seven years ago. I'm like, Shh, I posted that? Wow. Yeah. I've grown since then. You know what I'm saying? It, it's a good feeling. It's an amazing feeling. Yeah. I mean, a lot of, a lot of things can change, you know, as long as you're open to, to changing. You, gotta be, you have to be open to it. Like, nobody... Like, if you, I mean, there's nothing wrong with being stagnant. Don't get me wrong. Like, if that's, if that's what you want, if that's what you want to do for the rest of your life. I mean, if you're, if you're happy with, with it's, at the end where of the day, at, yeah, yeah, at the end not. of the day, it's just all about happiness, you know? Like, if you're happy doing that and you're happy waking up and doing the same exact thing over and over again, dude, do it. Like, I know that, uh, you, know, I'm, I'm, you know, I love food and I always think about people who bake and I'm like, they do the same exact thing each and every day. They make different you know, pastries, different, you know, uh, sweets and stuff. But to be able to wake up each and every day thinking, what am I going to cook next? And they just do the same thing over and over again. That's crazy. Exactly. So, so don't be afraid to also be stagnant. But, you know, uh, if you're thinking about chasing dreams and stuff, you know, in the pursuit of happiness, don't be afraid 
to take the initial step, to yeah. take a jump. Because you know what? Shoot for the moon. And if you miss, you're going to land in the stars. You're going to shine bright either way. Just do it. Exactly. Because like, sometimes, like, even if like, you really love what you do, like, sometimes there are days that are like, you're not feeling it as much, you know? Yeah. Oh, especially like, on those yeah. days. Dude, let me tell you. I, I, Cause like I feel like I w- I was feeling it this week with the podcast. I was yeah. like, I was like, um, I mean, we had a guest in mind, but like I wasn't really like a hundred percent. I was just like, yeah, okay, like it's nice to have a guest, but I wasn't really feeling like recording the podcast. But then when you called me earlier, like you still want to do the podcast? I was like, you know what? Like let's do it. Cause like Hell we've been yeah. we've been consistent for the past four months. Yeah, sixteen episodes. Yeah. So like I mean, why stop now? Like you know, I mean, no, don't don't ever stop. You always gotta stay consistent, you know. So you never know, man. You just never know. And maybe this podcast, someone is currently <laughs> listening to it and thinking, "Dang, this is what I needed to hear." You know, you yeah, never exactly. know. Exactly. Yeah, that's. I mean, I don't even think about that sometimes. It's like, because sometimes for me, I was just like, I'm like exhausted. Like I don't want to do anything. But like I don't think about the the positive. Oh, dude, I always like, think what, about it. Because, uh, like, what I could actually, you know. What you can provide do, someone like, else. Exactly. Or like maybe this is the one thing that they needed to hear today or whenever you guys listen to it. Yeah, know? dude. Let me tell you, when I go to, and I always talk about the gym, but, like, there are some days where I'm just like, oh, why am I even here? But those are the days that I work the hardest because I'm just like, well, you know, I woke up. I made it here. I don't want to be here. But you know what? Let's. Kill I'm this just day. Gonna show up anyways. I'm gonna show up anyways because you know, consistency, discipline, it's important. That like, is true. That is true. You you'll never master. Like I was surprised, legitimately surprised that this nutritionist, like straight up said, I'm athletic. And if you guys, well, I guess here's a little backstory. I used to be one of like the biggest guys I I've known in my entire life. Like myself, I. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm an average uh, Filipino man, but when I start, like, getting around the 200-pound range, that's when I need to, uh, that's when I took a step back and I was like, I need a, a real value in my life. And I want to be able to walk up a, ca- a pair of stairs or a case of stairs and <laughs> not be tired, not be tired and not breathe like, because <gasps> it sucks, dude. And now, now I run up those stairs and I'm just like, that's it? Easy. That's Consistent, good, man. You know? So don't ever quit live that champion lifestyle that's what i used to call it i used to call it the the champion lifestyle like never quit never back down do what you need to do never say never never say never <laughs> it's like that justin bieber song never say never <laughs> you're the one singing out hey we got jerk to sing on we the podcast K-Biebs. yeah k beebs but anyways um yeah dude like if y'all listen out there uh and you've tuned in up until this time and up until this episode once again, I truly appreciate you guys. Thank you for listening in, tuning in. And I hope that, you know, if even if this podcast was short, it had enough impact to, you know, incite a fire in your heart and your soul to go and chase those dreams. And don't don't even like, you know, you know what I what I learned myself is that I have a lot of dreams, but I wrote those dreams down to make them goals. And once you do that, you can accomplish anything. Yeah, yeah honestly. I think one of the things that I want to accomplish with this podcast is like every time you guys listen to to an episode, I at least want you guys to be either entertained or like learn a little bit of something. So yeah. Hopefully. Felt motivated, felt. Yeah. Felt like you were inspired. Yeah, you guys just a little bit of a energy boost, I guess. Yeah, you know, Monday morning. A little bit of positivity boost hey because nobody wants to work on a monday morning but you know what you're there you're in it to win it and hey i'm proud of you if nobody says it i'm telling you i don't know you i do know you all in all hey you're here you're listening i'm proud of you yeah this is fun for us to do yeah and we love helping you guys with some Positivity. Some positivity. Positivity Mondays. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, you know, I mean. Yo, check it Mondays. Yo, check it Mondays. I like that. Yo, hashtag everything. Yo, check it Mondays. That's cool. That's cool. I like that a lot, actually. That'd be 
sick. If y'all do a, we should do a, we should do a Q and A episode. That'd be cool, dude. You know, what'd be sick. Well, we gotta gather like at least, at least ten questions. That'd be fun. Okay, I got a challenge for anybody who's listening right now, and if you're interested, so on Instagram, you could hashtag Yo Check It Mondays, and it's just gonna be hashtag Yo Check It Mondays. Like that's it. No spaces. No, you know, no, no special characters. And if you do that, make a video of yourself asking us a question or doing anything crazy, uh, not too crazy. You know, are you gonna monitor? We're, we're are you not, gonna? We're not. Are you gonna go through those hashtags if people do? Uh, hell yeah, I would love to go to the hashtags, and I'd love to see what people are up to, and you know, what, like, I just want to see it. You know, because they're not afraid to take that step exactly. to go do something crazy and enjoy their life to yeah. the fullest. I know you guys are watching, or you, I know you guys are listening, so don't be. Don't be afraid. Don't be scared. Contact us. In the yeah, way. yeah. <laughs> Yo, uh, we're friendly people. We are here to inspire you. Exactly. So, yeah, leave a question in the comment section, and we'll probably try to answer it in the future episodes. We don't know when yet. Yeah, yeah. But if we get enough questions, then we can do it. At least ten. At we least. should at least do 10 questions. Shoot, I, I'll, like I'll answer for, any, even if it's just one question, I'll answer it for Yeah, because that would be enough for at least like an hour long episode. Yeah. Or, I mean, if you just want to like, you know, make a video of you singing, shoot, I'd enjoy that too. I love singing. Oh yeah, just do, do the hashtag. Do you. Yo, check it. Mondays. Mondays? Okay. Is that what we said? Yo, check it Mondays. Yo, check it Mondays. Hashtag, hashtag it. Yeah, that'd be cool. Like, spread that. Spread the word. Spread the news. Spread the news. Words the word. <laughs> bird, bird, bird. Birds the word. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. This is a... I think we kind of like this, like, quick podcast episodes. Yeah, we... Um, we're restructuring, so, you know, uh, we want to give more time to the guests. But if y'all enjoy us talking a little bit longer, let us know. You know, um, either way, we're... We're here to just enjoy ourselves and spread some positivity out in the world because you know what? Like, that's what the world needs right now. Yeah, we got cool guests lined up for you guys. So, hopefully, you guys will appreciate and we got welcome y'all. our lovely yeah. guests. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, the next one's probably not about love, but if y'all are interested about love and want me to answer it, want Jarek to answer it, once again, hashtag go check it Mondays. Yeah. We'll talk about love next time. Hell yeah. Always. Okay. Well, that's it for this episode. And thanks for tuning in. Yeah. Thank you for, um, if you've made it this far in this, what, 28, 30, 30, I don't know. Thank you for tuning in. Appreciate you. All right. Have a good Monday. Peace. Later.